Hi, so I just wanted to share a small project I made uh, using OpenCD. Um, it's basically a, a chess playing drone or bot, or however you want to call it. It, um, it analyzes the screen and using template matching extracts the, the position that it sees. Now, once it has a position, it uh, sends it to a, to a chess engine. In this case, uh, I chose Fruit because it was very easy to recompile with some personal preferences. And then the, the engine will send me back the best move also as a string. And using that best move, I will move, I will move the mouse. So let's see how it works. So that's the chess engine working and I'm gonna call the main program so I just made a small uh, imshow element to have somewhere to to input um, keyboard stuff so if I press A I'll uh, interpret the position as if I was white and I'll make what it thinks it's the best move so let's sit and practice um, some poor guy is gonna gonna go down um, okay. No, no, five minutes is too much. I win. Uh, one minute. So, um, it takes like a third of a second because I do a lot of resizing of the of the main screen uh, by about a factor of 0.4. So only about a fourth of the original area is processed so that's why that way I save a lot of processing time so here you can see uh, screen capture takes about 30, 30 milliseconds here it took less here it took a bit more I don't know why uh, extracting the the position takes about 130 milliseconds and I programmed the the engine to to take 100 milliseconds to calculate the best move, so it takes about 24 milliseconds of, of waste, and moving the mouse takes about 60 milliseconds total time, about 0.4 seconds. So, come on, just play a game, please. Anyone is good? Okay, let's go. So this poor guy, uh, it's all for the good science. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's gonna suffer. Um, oh well, he's too bad. I, that sucks. So my program doesn't know how to castle uh, because every position is a new position and it doesn't know if the king's already moved. So oh shit, I made a mistake. So if if the other guy castles, uh, it's gonna be as a surprise to him because. It, it thinks that castling is illegal, so... Well, it still wins, so it's no problem. Um, this would not, be po would not be possible if screen capture wasn't so fast, so I'll show you the source code in a minute. I had to implement a native source code, and uh, which I found to some thanks to some great guys. And... Um, uh, checkmate. Let's find someone better to demonstrate. Mm. I think there's no one good. So let's see some code. Um, so it's about <coughs> 500 lines of code. It's for me, it's, it's quite big. Um, I just declared two classes. Uh, Super sock, which is for the socket communication to communicate with the chess engine, a robot class to, to move the mouse, and uh, a lot of methods, a lot of methods uh, to extract position, to compare each, each uh, small small uh, square to a piece, and I'm gonna show you how it really works. Mm. Okay, so. Um, what it does is it compares each piece to each one of these templates. So I made this myself. Uh, bishop, bishop, 
bishop, bishop, knight, knight, knight. Well, pretty much all the possible pieces in all the possible square colors. And I have a text file which which names them, right? And this order is is relevant. Uh, it first looks, it first searches for the pawns because pawns are most most uh, probable pieces, right? And if the template matching, uh, I don't know how to call it, number of likelihood is high enough, then it would cut the search. So it doesn't have to search through all the pieces if it finds a pawn. That way, it's it's much shorter. Um, let me show you how it works. Um, so right now I have a um, Google Chrome window with the Play Live Chess title, which is important to my program. I I have these macros to to modify and debug. And well, let's see. Okay, so it grabs the screen, right? And this is the template, and this is the square it is. So it's gonna iterate over the all the 64 squares and check how alike they are to the template. As you can see now, this um, uh, this rook is about 100% uh, as alike as the as the original one. And if I go along, it compares them, compares, compares. So far, so good. And here, well, it's not alike any of the templates so it's gonna assign it like a like if it was a, a white like if it was a sorry <laughs> like if it was a white pawn and with a very low index right so my threshold is about 0.48 because i found out that it was the best like that and well it does all of this in about uh, 0.13 seconds so it's very fast um, of course, I have to resize the matrix because if I work with this size, it's going to be very slow, about uh, 900 milliseconds or so. And um, let me show you. I have to sorry. Okay, so I forgot. This is the the thin position it extracted. So after all the template matching, it gave me this this thin position, which is the correct position. As you can see, uh, this this uh, response is already because I think I left the socket open. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, I did leave the socket open. So it actually sent the the string over to the UDP server and the server answered and of course the, the best move it says it's knight to f3 which is a very natural opening so um, um, let's see okay. actually it also tried to move the mouse but it's so fast that it's hard to see um, Okay, so this is the real size I work with. Uh, as you can see, it's much less area, so processing time will be uh, a lot smaller. Uh, but if you pay close attention here, the likelihood is much, much, uh, much more poor. Uh, it's not so evident, evident here, but I have uh, received uh, likelihoods of about 50%, which is um, unaccept unacceptable. So I had to reduce my threshold to point 0.48, point 0.45 or so that I would not uh, mi uh, mistake uh, blank squares for pieces and I would not ignore any piece which was not, uh, not alike enough uh, to the original template. So, so that's it, I mean, it's very quick. Um, I, I'm gonna upload the source code because I first thought not because of the cheaters, but I mean uh, everyone can cheat if they want, so uh, I don't care. So I made it for myself because I want to have fun, and 
it's been so fun so far uh, so I just don't think I'll keep working on it anymore so I think I'll upload it and you can use it if you want I'll also upload the the fruit code which it's necessary because because of the UDP server and well thank you for watching I hope you liked it and please leave me comments and some feedback and well see you next time well not next time okay so I just forgot to show some more examples so I finally got someone to play with and well I don't I don't do this with gore I don't I don't mean to to raise my rating or something I just like to know that what I made is fast and it's effective so pay close attention that it can it cannot castle so it's gonna make all these weird moves in order to to keep its king safe and and and, su and such so. The first version I made of this was very slow. It took like like five seconds to, to do the whole thing. And it was because the screen capture was with Java and not using uh, Windows native things. So that's why. Ouch. Checkmate. So that's it. Okay. You want rematch? Okay, that's rematch. No problem. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know I suck, I'm dirty, but yeah. <coughs> I don't know why it likes this opening, it always plays like this. You could have a, a real-time playing feature, like um, based on the actual position and the best move po is the position, you could um, calculate what the future position will be. So you could compare future readings to to the expected position, and if they are different, that then it means that the opponent has moved. So you could make it fully automatic, but I honestly don't have the, the energy anymore, so... I just like to play like this. <sighs> so I recommend that you use OpenCV in case you are not using it already. It's extremely fast. I like it very much. It can do a lot of things. Um, it's not as complicated as it looks. As long as you are clean on your programming. So this guy is putting a bit more of a fight. It's a shame. <coughs> I wonder if people already do this for some other things like credit credit card stuff, I don't know. I really hope not. Okay, nice win. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Thank you guy. No, I'm not gonna keep stealing your points, I'm sorry. So thank you for watching and as again, I, s I, I said before, uh, I hope you leave me some feedback. Uh, have a good day.